a certified personal trainer and nutritionist, and today I have a cardio kickboxing workout. The workout begins with the warm-up, we'll do the workout itself, then we have cool down stretches, and we're done. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like to help contribute, if you go to my channel page, in the about, there's a link for donations. Before we begin, I have an inspirational phrase to share with you. It says, don't doubt yourself, work hard, and make it happen. And I like this because I firmly believe that if you never give up, if you try your hardest, your thoughts, your words, your actions, they all align, you use your willpower, that you will succeed in anything. Sometimes it takes a long time and a lot of patience. And at some point you may think, wow, I've been at this for 10 years and I haven't seen the results that I was hoping for. But guess what? If you give up, you're never going to get there. So you have to keep trying, even if it takes a long time. And one day, you will look back, or you'll achieve it, or you'll at least get even further than you ever thought you could possibly get. And you'll say, wow, I'm glad that I stuck to it. And that has happened to me more than once in things that, you know, I didn't believe in myself, or I didn't think that my efforts were going to make any difference. But I kept at it because it was in my heart, and it worked out. And so I believe that can happen for everybody. So another thing is, um, I believe in miracles, and some people would think that's silly or that they don't, you know, have a lot of logic to them. And honestly, I really am someone who is very mindful of logic. I care a lot about reasonings and evidence um, that are not attached to emotions, like real facts. However, I've experienced things that just were beyond me, and um, because of that, I believe that tides can, you know, shift the odds, or that something amazing can happen. And I believe that you have to believe in that to see it, because the mind looks for things that will confirm what it already believes, and that's why we tend to listen to people who have the same beliefs as us. So, with that being said, we'll begin our warm-up. The first thing we have is a horse stance push and pull, and this is going to stretch along the side of the back, and it also is a good warm-up for the upper body. So you're going to enter your horse stance, like, um, the fun way to think about it is how your legs would look if you were sitting on a horse, and from here you're going to push and pull in each direction, and we're going to alternate for 12. is going to be butt kickers and they're going to stretch the front of the legs and get some blood pumping throughout the knee tendons here. So you're going to kick your butt like so and you can do this walking or stationary and we're going to go through about 10 times. Now we're ready to start our workout. So the first thing we have is a back kick in the knee. And on the same leg. So you're going to get in your stance, back kick, knee. And we're going to do that a total of eight times and then switch legs. to our next combination, which is 10 jumping jack jabs and two round kicks. So you go to jumping jacks and with jabs, so one, two, three, continue all the way to 10, and then two round kicks. And then we're going to do that five times. So let's begin.
cross. So, side kick, round kick, three jab cross. And that's going to be one, and we're going to switch stance every time, and we're going to do a total of eight of the series. switch but apparently I've lied so I'm going to do four on one side and then switch I was boxing this morning and when I did I would do my combinations five times and then switch over and over again until my timer ran out. So now I'm like stuck in that mentally. The next thing that we have is an iron V with punches. So you're going to the floor. And the easiest version of the iron V is to sit with your feet planted on the ground. Lean back a bit. You should feel your abdominals bracing. You should not feel pain in your lower back. If you do, you need to sit up some. And from here, you're going to punch on each side for a variety. You can add forward punches and upward punches. So side to side, front front, up up. Or you could just stick to side to side, mainly focusing on the obliques. To make this exercise more difficult, you can bring your legs here or here. It's up to you. And we're going to do that for a total of 10. We have double jab, double cross, front kick, side kick on the same leg. So double jab, double cross, and then front kick, side kick. And it's one, and hopefully this time we'll alternate for eight. <laughs> to our last combination, which is lunge, front kick, knee. So, we're going to lunge, front kick, knee. We're going to do it five times, then switch. stretches. So we're going to begin with a Y series for the upper body. So you go to Y. You want to squeeze between your shoulder blades and expand your arms back as far as you can while keeping that Y shape. From here you're going to lace your fingers, bring your hands overhead, reach to each side to stretch your shoulders and lats. Bring your palms together, bring them behind your head to stretch your triceps. Then a chest, chest clasp there you go. Stretch your chest in front of the shoulders. Then, finally, a reverse prayer for your shoulders. And if you can't do a reverse prayer, this is the easier version. We're going to do that three times. This series helps to stretch all of the major muscles of the upper body.
we have a standing knee hug and this is going to stretch the hip and the hamstring and the lower back. So from standing, you simply hug your knee, start to hold. And then after brief pause, switch. And that concludes our cardio kickboxing workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out more of my other videos on YouTube on Wellness by Elizabeth. And like, subscribe, and share.